what a super fight when they made the term super fight that's exactly what I had in mind when the glitz and the glam and the spectacle of the entire weekend all buddy itself up and the fight delivers not only just the fight but the fight card the people that were in attendance was just astronomical when it's all said and done it broke all Vegas records. But what exactly does it mean to walk a man down in that ring? You heard that term a lot last night and this morning. But before I get started, I'd like to introduce myself for those who have never watched my channel or this page. My name is Eric A. Bradley, a.k.a. The Real Fight Doctor. And there is no other on this level. Now back to the topic at hand. What exactly does it mean to walk a man down? In the sport of boxing, there's an art form. And it's called the peekaboo style. Decorated and celebrated and created by the late and the great Cus D. Amato. Spell it right. He, for those who do not know, if you're from the world of mixed martial arts, was the decorated coach of Mike Tyson, legendary, and Floyd Patterson. He taught this style that allows you to even the playing field against much better opposition, taller, longer, faster, and keeps them honest. And what I mean by that is it allows you the same opportunities in that ring that they have, but when it's taught the right way, you end up with a Mike Tyson. You end up with a Floyd Patterson. You end up with a Joe Frazier. You end up with a Dwight Muhammad Kawi, people who mastered the science. This style is not to be overlooked, and it gives you options in that ring. As we always speak to this in the school of higher learning over at Master Boxing, is learning how to transfer from the Philly shell, which is Floyd Mayweather's go-to bread and butter style and switch that thing right into the peekaboo where you put your earmuffs on and then you walk to your opponent. How does this help you in all situations? Because when the variables change, so does the narrative. Conor McGregor, I'm going to break this down over the next 60 seconds. Well, give me two rounds of 60 seconds because I want to be fair for you guys who don't understand it. And for those who do, I always take it a step further. So that is clarity in my explanation. And you walk away with something. That's what the school of higher learning is all about. Not just talking boxing, not just the what, but the how, when, why. Why do you apply it? Because what it does is it eliminates all of the choices that Conor McGregor had last night. He had options to counterpunch Floyd. He had options to touch Floyd in different ways. He had options to do things that no man who's a novice boxer should be able to do against a pound for pound fighter. That's what Floyd decided to do. He knew when he could turn it on. So the peekaboo gave him an option to come out of the Philly shell. In our school of higher learning, we trans teach you how to transfer from the Philly shell to the high guard. From the Philly shell to the high guard. Floyd Mayweather knew that he would have to walk to Conor McGregor. He promised this in the fight. So once he got into that flow, he knew that he was going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe 
take away all of the offense that Conor McGregor could muster up, and that's when to apply it. Once he saw what Conor McGregor was gonna throw, he came from out of that shell and slid and rotated up into high guard. Conor McGregor ran out of things to do. You can only do so many tricks in a fight. I tell everyone, you get about four rounds to show your whole card. We call it front running in the sport of boxing. Stick with me now. Now, let's talk about the why, not just the when. That's when you apply it. Why is because you don't want to be getting picked off throughout the night, pot shot it, or any of those things that Conor McGregor was offering whenever he would switch his stance. He wasn't doing a lot of anything when he was switching the stances, but what he did offer up at that time was a moment to make Floyd stop and think once again. But after the third round, those tricks, they don't work anymore because you're in there against a guy who's the pound for pound best in the world at making adjustments. So the why Floyd did it was to make sure that Connor wasn't pot shotting them anymore. So he took that away. So now he's taking both of Connor's options and stuck them both in his pocket. His hands is cuffed. They might as well have been behind his back at that point because this is what Floyd is great at doing. So he utilized a different style. He used that same style against Zab Judah and he used a little bit against Arturo Gotti. Well, that was an absolute masterpiece that he did against Arturo Gotti. And for those who don't know Arturo Gotti, he's an absolute gladiator. They've even named an award after him. It's called the Gotti Award. Jim Lampley, HBO. Hey, the fight game, look it up. Now, the how do you use the peekaboo style inside of that ring whenever you're in the Philly shell? That's what you have to learn. And that's what you guys from the UFC or MMA all together need to understand. Once you learn how to master these things, that's when you can compete at a higher level. And now that the combat world has a Super Bowl because this event last night, this is a new Super Bowl. It broke all the records of the NFL in the casinos, the betters, all the handicapping, all the money flowing into those casinos. It made the Super Bowl look like a regular game. Now you look at the fighters, Conor McGregor, showed a valiant effort. He was vocal. He spoke hard. And Floyd Mayweather didn't take him light. These guys spoke so hard and went so candid when they wanted, because they wanted people to realize that this is going to be a real fight. So when I speak to the spectacle, I'm going to speak about Dana White right now. And Dana White this video very well may get to him because we're doing numbers and these type posts. But the key thing is to understand what it is you're up against. Dana White does not want to have to deal with this beast because for one, he didn't like his hands cuffed, meaning he had nothing to do with the promotion at all. And he didn't have anything really to, he had no input. Everything was Connor's decision. It was under Connor and Floyd Mayweather's promotional company. So the UFC had nothing to do with it. Now they rallied around Connor, but what Dana White does not want to know or see is this all go down that road where he has no control. And it takes a lot to put one of these type of events on. Needless to say, it was a total success. But I have to say something to all of you guys out in the world of MMA and the UFC, guys or girls, in order to learn this sweet science, and you'll realize there's so many layers to it. Becca, I thank you once again for writing that sweet piece. She's an MMA fighter, and soon you'll know her name, AKA.
hurricane. I told you I was going to give you a plug. I want you guys to understand. I speak of this young lady because she spoke to the different layers in boxing and that it takes a lot. George Copa, George the Wild Prince Copa is a fighter. He fights at Master Boxing, MMA. He does jujitsu. He does Muay Thai. He's versed in boxes. That's the next athlete being built and designed. Not only does he have those other components, but he also has the real education in the school of higher learning. To go in there and beat a boxer in the combat Super Bowl. So what does this say? That this day and time, Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather just opened the pearly gates to make what we now witness, the spectacle that happened on pay-per-view, Showtime, Championship Boxing, the Super Bowl of combat sports, smashing all the NFL numbers and surpassing the Pacquiao gate by like $10 million. That's nothing to sneeze at. That difference in that gate is 20 times more than the average guy in combat sports salary, basically. The pearly gates are now open. And you guys from the UFC and you boxers must learn this. You got to learn the process and make sure when you climb into that ring that you learn the science so you can make those adjustments like Floyd. And maybe the next time you see the combat Super Bowl, you will be the one to walk a man down out of the peekaboo style. My name is Eric A. Bradley, and I thank you guys for watching. This is Master Boxing. We break the fight world down, baby. <sighs> round by round. Peace and shout out to my people over at Master Boxing, the school of higher learning, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather, Jeff Mayweather, everybody, Dana White, the UFC fans, the UFC fighters, the world of MMA, it's a combat life, baby. Nothing better. Peace.